Good evening. Welcome to Election Night 2020. Tonight we have New Jersey Senator Cory Booker running with Terry McAuliffe from the great state of Virginia versus Donald Trump and in, of course the incumbent Vice President Mike Pence. Let's go over some polling data. The national average has Booker ahead by one. The Rust Belt has Booker ahead by six. In Florida, Trump is ahead by two in polling. In North Carolina, Booker is ahead by one. In Virginia, Booker is ahead by eight, the home state of his running mate. Ohio, Trump plus three. Iowa, Trump plus 13, a double digit lead here for him. And in Georgia, Trump plus three. And out of the state of Arizona, Trump plus one. And this is the map, if polling data goes correctly, Booker would win the election 293 to Donald Trump's 245. It is now 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time and six new states' polls have closed, totaling up to 60 electoral votes. The state of Vermont will go to Cory Booker, three electoral votes. The state of Indiana, 11 electoral votes, home state of Vice President Mike Pence will go to Donald Trump. The state of Kentucky, eight electoral votes projected to go to Donald Trump. The state of South Carolina, with its nine electoral votes, will go to Donald Trump. The state of Georgia is too close to call. Booker is ahead by 20%. And in the state of Virginia, it is too close to call one county reporting, which is a Democratic county, 78% to 22%. The electoral map is on your screen now. Booker has three, and Donald Trump has 28. It is now 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, and three new states' polls have closed, totaling up to 37 electoral votes. Out of the state of West Virginia, five electoral votes will go to Donald Trump. Ohio is too close to call Booker with a 6% lead. And in the state of North Carolina, it is too close to call with Booker ahead by 1%. The electoral map is on your screen now. Three for Cory Booker and Donald Trump has 33. It is now 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time and we have a huge new batch of poll closings totaling up to 169 electoral votes. The state of Oklahoma, 7 electoral votes goes to Donald Trump. The state of Missouri, 10 electoral votes projected to go to Donald Trump. Tennessee, 11 electoral votes projected to go to Donald Trump. Alabama, 9 electoral votes projected to go to Donald Trump. Mississippi, 6 electoral votes projected to go to Donald Trump. Maine, 1 out of its 4 electoral votes will go to Donald Trump. Illinois, 20 electoral votes projected to go to Cory Booker. Cory Booker will also take the state of Maryland with its 10 electoral votes. Delaware, three electoral votes projected to go to Cory Booker. His home state, New Jersey, projected to go to Cory Booker, 14 electoral votes. Massachusetts, 12 electoral votes projected to go to Cory Booker. Connecticut, seven electoral votes projected to go to Cory Booker. Rhode Island, four electoral votes projected to go to Cory Booker. Maine, three out of its four electoral votes projected to go to Cory Booker. As you remember before, that we just called one congressional district for Donald Trump. The state has split between Cory Booker and Donald Trump. And the District of Columbia, three electoral votes will go to Cory Booker. The state of New Hampshire, an earlier call from 2016, four electoral votes lands in the Booker column tonight. The state of Pennsylvania, the crucial swing state of Pennsylvania, is too close to call, 4% lead for the president. Florida, the president is also ahead by 1%, too close to call. And the electoral map is on your screen now, Cory Booker taking the lead for the first time tonight. 82 for Cory Booker to 77 for Donald Trump. It is now 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time and the state of Arkansas's polls have closed. The state of Arkansas will go to Donald Trump. It is now 9 p.m. Eastern Time and we have a huge another big batch of poll closings, 156 electoral votes in total. After these poll closings callings, we do have another major projection. Out of the state of Texas, 38 electoral votes will go to Donald Trump. Louisiana, 8 electoral votes projected to go to Donald Trump. Donald Trump will carry the state of Kansas. We are hitting the red wall at this moment. And the state of Nebraska, 5 out of its 5 electoral votes will go to Donald Trump. South Dakota, 3 electoral votes projected to go to Donald Trump. North Dakota, 3 electoral votes projected to go to Donald Trump. Wyoming, 3 electoral votes will go to Donald Trump. And New Mexico, 5 electoral votes will go to Cory Booker. State of Minnesota, 10 electoral votes will go to Cory Booker, another earlier call from 2016. And the state of New York, 29 electoral votes projected to go to Cory Booker. Now the state of Wisconsin is too close to call, another crucial swing state from the Rust Belt, 2% lead for Cory Booker. Michigan, too close to call, Cory Booker leads by 
In the state of Arizona, it is too close to call, Donald Trump maintaining an 8% lead. In the state of Colorado, Cory Booker is ahead by 4%, too close to call. And we can now project that Republicans will take control of the House, 435 representatives in total. The House of Representatives will go to the Republicans this election. Remember that in 2018, Democrats took control, but with the Trump wave coming in this time, Republicans will take control of the House of Representatives. The electoral map is on your screen now, 126 for Cory Booker to 149 for Donald Trump. It is now 10 p.m. Eastern Time, and we have four new states' polls have closed, 21 electoral votes in total. Out of the state of Montana, three electoral votes projected to go to Donald Trump. Utah, six electoral votes projected to go to Donald Trump. Out of the state of Iowa, a state that Cory Booker won in the primaries, will go to Donald Trump, six electoral votes. And out of the state of Nevada, 52% for Cory Booker to 48 for Donald Trump, too close to call. The electoral map is on your screen now, 126 for Cory Booker to 164 for Donald Trump. It is now 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time, and we can make three new state projections, totaling up to 28 electoral votes. Cory Booker will take the state of Nevada, six electoral votes. Out of the state of Virginia, 13 electoral votes projected to go to Cory Booker. And the state of Colorado, nine electoral votes projected to go to Cory Booker. It is now 11 p.m. Eastern Time, and we can now make projections in five new states, 82 electoral votes in total. The state of California, 55 electoral votes, the biggest prize in the union, projected to go to Cory Booker. The state of Washington, 12 electoral votes will go to Cory Booker. The state of Oregon, 7 electoral votes will go to Cory Booker. And the state of Hawaii, 4 electoral votes projected to go to Cory Booker. Now for Donald Trump, he will carry the state of Idaho with its 4 electoral votes. The state of Nebraska, we will now retract as being solidly Trump, we will retract Cory Booker has taken the lead. It is now too close to call instead of being for Trump. Cory Booker has a lead of 4%. We did not expect this at all based on polling. It is now too close to call. And the electoral map is on your screen now. 232 for Cory Booker, the number that Hillary Clinton got in 2016, compared to 167 for Donald Trump. We can now project that Democrats will take control of the Senate. They did not take control in 2018, even with the Democratic wave election. However, with the seats up today, Booker has helped the Senate candidates, and Democrats will take control of the Senate. It is now 12.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and we can now make four new projections. The state of Michigan, 16 electoral votes projected to go to Cory Booker, a flip from 2016. He is the apparent winner out of the state of Michigan. And out of the, and out of the state of Nebraska, its second congressional district, this is very surprising. We previously had this called for Donald Trump is now projected to go to Cory Booker by a very slim margin. He is the apparent winner. Out of the state of Georgia, 16 electoral votes will go to Donald Trump. And out of the state of Arizona, no surprise here, Donald Trump will take his 11 electoral votes. The electoral map is on your screen now, 249 for Cory Booker. Donald Trump has, a one, has 194. It is now 1 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time, and we can now make a projection out of the state of Alaska, which is the single state with its polls closed. The state of Alaska's three electoral votes will go to Donald Trump. It is now 1.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and we can now make two projections out of the state of North Carolina and the state of Michigan, sorry, Wisconsin, 25 electoral votes in total. The state of Wisconsin will go to Donald Trump, 10 electoral votes. He is the apparent winner of, its, of the state of Wisconsin. Out of the state of North Carolina, he is also the apparent winner, 15 electoral votes. The electoral map is on your screen now, 222 for Donald Trump to 249 for Cory Booker. It is now 2.13 a.m. Eastern Time and two new states. We can now make projections in the state of Ohio and Pennsylvania, totaling up to 38 electoral votes. The state of Ohio, 18 electoral votes projected to go to Donald Trump. And the state of Pennsylvania has flipped from Donald Trump from 2016. 20 electoral votes will go to Cory Booker. He will be the winner of the state of Pennsylvania. And the electoral map is on your screen now, 269 for Cory Booker with 29 electoral votes from the state of Florida, the only state that has been called leaning towards him, while Donald Trump has 240. It is now 6 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time, and we can now make a projection out of the state of Florida. And now the state of Florida is projected to go to Donald Trump, 99.4% reporting. He is the apparent winner, with a margin of around 3,000 votes, will go to Donald Trump. And the electoral map is on your screen now, 269 for Cory Booker to 269 for Donald Trump. 
meaning the presidential race will go to the House of Representatives and the vice presidential race will go to the Senate. We can now project that Donald Trump will be re-elected by the vote of the House of Representatives. Donald Trump will be re-elected as President of the United States. However, in the state, in the Vice Presidency of the United States, the Senate has voted to make Terry McAuliffe the next Vice President of the United States. And thank you all for watching. I just wanted to talk to you guys about making a contribution to my Patreon. This helps me create my videos and expand my channel. The link will be in the description below or it is patreon.com slash LTE standing for Let's Talk Elections, and please comment suggestions for my new videos, and I just want to thank you all for 290 subscribers, I'm so close to 300, um, I'm thinking about doing a face reveal at 1000, but that's a long time away, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.